So now, this is when shit started getting kind of real. Consent to treatment. Um, for at least 2,000. Uh, nervous. Signed to a major label. Ooh. God, if I would have known then what I know now, I would not have sat there and kissed so much ass. Um, George Winston, marvelous pianist, uh, got to play on the album, and that just blew my mind. Uh, at that time, most people were getting like badass motherfuckers, like punk ass, you know, really strong. And I wanted the classical pianist George Winston to play. And it was amazing. It was just great. Um, rock format. That's when I learned what rock format meant. Which meant back then in 2000, corn, limp biscuit. They were huge. I loved their music. But deep inside, I was so fucking jealous. Because we only sold 15,000 copies of this album. Right off the shelf. And instantly dropped, you know. Um, and they sold millions. <clears throat> but uh, I love those guys. I still love corn. Like, go. Uh, um, it says here began abusing drugs. Uh, I was in LA, um, it was everywhere. And I began abusing them. Not using, abusing. Uh, Band becomes a team. Blue Miller is our glue. He was a, the guy who showed me how to write songs, and then we were dropped, like it says. Uh, that was a crazy time getting dropped. Uh, right after we were dropped, uh, we kept touring and kept touring, and you guys kept showing up and kept showing up. And, and so as we were on the road, um, I started writing the album History for Sale. Um, uh, released 2003, depression, anger, now I was deep into the drugs. Uh, band meets Rainmaker, my management. Um, it's the first time I got to co-produce an album, and The Edge in Dallas was the first radio station to ever play us. Um, I'm very blessed for my management who found me because I was, we'll say, riding a fine line between ego and loser belt. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. So this is one of my favorite songs off of uh, History for Sale. Stay the rain. 
come. There ain't always a way.